INEC responds to Atiku's petition, says Tinubu does not need 25% in Abuja. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has responded to the petition filed by the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate Alhaji Atika Bubaka challenging the outcome of the presidential election conducted on February 25, 2023. The electoral body asked the election tribunal to dismiss the petition filed by Atiku, saying that he did not meet the requirement to be declared the winner of the election. INEC said that the candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tunubu, was declared the winner of the poll, having satisfied the requirement of the law. The commission also dismissed Atiku's claim that Tunubu did not get 25% of the vote cast in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, before he was declared the winner of the poll. It was argued that a candidate must not, must not secure 25% of a vote in the FCT to be declared the winner. On why it returned to Nimbo as the winner, I next said the All Progressive Congress candidate stored 25% of the valid vote cast into internal states of the Federation. Now, it is INEC that is replying at equal, not the court. We will see what the court has to say on this matter. Is it, am I only the one feeling that a, a PDP is not actually hitting hard? In other elections. Anyway, these people, they hand to no claim. Yes, PDP too, then they they careful because the getters then go use come aside, come do something. Their own their own yash, breeze go blow and the bomb bomb of the fowl go do it in. You go open. So that is why they are going there. They are they are having what I call they're doing the soft pedal, then they pedal softly. They don't want pedal hardly so that you know everything goes spoil. People should allow Tunubu to enjoy his presidency in peace. Why suddenly Tunubu became God? Whom majority fear if you don't have skeleton in your cupboard? Please let him be. After all, he hasn't ruled as president before. When he wrote the highest public state in Nigeria, he accommodated everyone and did well. We should stop acting as if Tunubu is your problem and end means to your wahala. Now, the thing is, you people don't understand. Had it been, had it been we are in the era where, had it been we are in the era where everything concerning this presidency, this presidential election, let us say it is it's going to be affecting everybody individually. Meaning, if you vote for somebody who is competent, let's say for instance, you vote for Tsunubu and the consequences for Tsunubu is good. No wahala. You vote for P to B U and the consequences of P to B is actually um what's the call? Bad. You face the consequences alone. I kid you not, people will not even come outside to see anything. Even me, I'm not even going to be this thing is not I'm not even sure the case will be in court. But unfortunately, we are in a country where everything affects us. Whether I vote for somebody who is good and the majority voted for somebody who is not good, what happens? I am still going to you know, the sun will still shine on top of my head. You see, this sun, where they come outside these days, where they say, if they prepare for body, if they be like saying an acid. Whether you be black, whether I be white, whether I be good person, but this sun, they dry everybody. You don't, there is no way, there is no hiding place. It is the same way. The consequences of voting for whoever emerges the winner. If the person is good, we get to enjoy, all of us. But if the person is not good, we get to bear the consequences. I don't know if I'm making sense. That is why people are coming out to talk. They are not coming out because some, most of the people you are even coming out to say, do not hate Tunubu. Some of them, they don't know him. Why will you hate somebody you don't even know? They are all after the fact that they are all tired. Everybody, to sue everybody. Everybody is tired. They want a better country. They want a better country. If not, I tell you, everybody will just do as right. Anyhow, where the country be, that's where it will be. With this revelation from my next chairman, it implies that so long a candidate who is one third, or at least 24 states in the federation, does not need one third to win an FCT, especially that that APC candidate won 29 states. That is what the question is answered in line with the electoral law. Exactly. The thing is, there is a law there. This is not a matter of he did not need to. What did the law say? The law say you must get 25% into third of a state and FCT. Now, it's not left for the courts, the judiciary, to come outside and tell us, oh, this is what they mean, no. They mean, say, they an FCT. You know, really, really mean an FCT. Or they mean, say, eh, as far as they don't get the two-third of the, 
of uh, how many or the, the 25 percent in two third of uh, the states in nigeria then you feel they will come and explain this now then get to interpret them so if they were the court judgment like i said before it was INEC that came out or it is INEC that rather came out to answer this question okay and had the article i thought by now you should have relocated to dubai stop wasting your money on court cases as jagaban has won already Lawyers will be telling you that you have a good case but you'll never stand for free be wise mm -hmm. my own be say i think we say hand no claim his hand is not clean. If you noticed, unlike before, PDP is not fighting now. PDP is not, they know they are saying, they know they give hits. The people giving the hits now is Labour Party. Like, how do I put it? The people who APC feel is giving them more hits is Labour Party. They know if, if you watch very well, they know they even talk about um, Atiku or PDP. Professor, that's the ignorance of guidelines of his employee, capital is shame. He should be preparing to go to jail for scamming Nigerians. Abuja was included because it is not a state. Not that it is mandatory for any candidate to win it before the candidate is declared as a winner. Abuja, are Abuja votes superior to other votes from other parts of the country? That is a question begging for answer from me. Brother, when courts come and say, I can't talk, you go know. But for now, me self will really ask this question. Me, I don't know. I know get clue. I know no. I know be tribunal. I know be election tribunal. It is when they come outside and say, okay, oh, this thing, now like this, it go go. This one, now like this, it go go. Now we go know. Labour Party and PDP should know that it is not necessary, but policies have been clouded their sense of reasoning. Even some sand, because of their political affiliation, they are unreasonable, they are, are unable to reason straight again. Okay, where are all the mutilations in the form of EC8A? Where we saw INEC exchanging the Turnbull Law's low figures with OB and collecting all OB highest figures. I now understand why the Southeast were not interested in this election. Naim, they don't already talk and their leader, that um, Nam Dekan who is in prison, came outside and was like, made they no follow them, said they waste their time. And he just be like, said, that's the way talk don't happen. That is what they will be telling themselves. But they, they saw. With the electoral laws being signed into law, with the new electoral law, giving what's it called, um, giving so much, uh, so much to electronic cumulation of results. Then they said, let them try this one. Made them try this one. This one is different. They did a lot. Unfortunately, what thing happens still happen. But this is an opener that Tsunubu is not wanted by Nigerians, not even in Lagos and Abuja. We saw what we did in River State. That was what Andy did for other state results. Sustainable feed woefully. Sincerely, I will not blame people because this APC, we have been talking about to remove them from power. We, I mean we Nigerians, because if you ask me, if you have talks with people, survey with survey, we go out to the street and ask questions. By this time last year, by this time two years ago, people will tell you without missing whether who APC, they don't try. Make them come out, they make another person try. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news to so say thank you for. Turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy.